Hello, everyone, and happy Monday. Money Monday. That's a bit of tongue-in-cheek. But look, so USDN, I was talking about a possible buy trade. Now, this has collapsed pretty significantly. And I was so I, I opened up my phone. I had a uh, a job interview, uh, you know, for what I do outside of trading. Um, I do sports science stuff, and I work in gyms and things like that. Had a good job interview that that went pretty well. We'll wait till next week. But I opened the phone up, waiting in the um on the couch there in the waiting room that they had. I was like, wow. You know what is <laughs> what's going on here, and then I saw just on the news Donald Trump tweeted something about um, a threatening tweet to Iran, and it was vintage. It was old caps lock, and it was just it was really Donald Trump late at night Sunday. He was like, you know what, I'm gonna rant like this to Iran, threatening them. It was a real, it was just vintage Donald Trump. Anyway, so that this is the USD again. So we see this now. My take on this is that Monday represents what happens um, as an opposite thing, price action-wise, to the rest of the week. So we could see recovery here. I'm not going to go and just sell this. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to wait and see. There's not really enough there quite yet. Uh, we'll see, though. I mean, if Tuesday comes and it continues on, I'm going to sell it. Uh, I'll change my thesis on this. All right, let's get the Aussie dollar up now. Yeah, it's just it's consolidating. It's I mean we're during the Asian session still, so it's nothing spectacular at all. So I don't come in and jump jump in trades. I mean I'll use the four hour to paint the picture and then I'll go down in the alley. I'm still not going uh, lower really. Then I'm trying to get the one hour entries and I'm working on that, but uh. I'm not really seeing much the units catching my attention here. All right, so, so uh, let's go to the euro. And the euro's actually rallied a little bit uh, to, start, to start the week off. And what I thought was going to happen was we're going to see some gap downs because uh, the US dollar weakened quite a bit on the Friday. I can't quite recall what happened, but it, it uh, oh no, that's right, Donald tweeted about currency strength or whatever. I mean, you know, who knows if it really does affect, but there was US dollar weakness. So I was thinking we'd, we'd see some, some gap downs on the majors, but we, we haven't. And the euro, it's sort of slowing down a little bit now. So see the pound. From a trade perspective, there's not a lot I'm seeing here, to be honest. Uh, at all, I'm just getting a little bit of hair on the screen there. So, look, the pound that you know that's a possible short still, but I wait till really I wait to the Tuesday European session to even contemplate putting a trade on. So that's just my approach to things. Uh, whether that be a big account, small account, you know that's how I approach things. <clears throat> USD Swiss is is uh, interesting as well. Now we're right on some support here, so we'll see, uh, you know, potential short. We'll see what happens. If the US dollar continues to weaken, I'm going to eye off some shorts and, you know, see what price action does tomorrow. New Zealand and Aussie dollar are terrible. You know, I'm not really interested in that. Really, the uh, the pound is it's right there on support, though. Go to the hourly. I mean, it has had a nice little rally, but we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm conclude the video. I've got night shift tonight, so my next video is going to be late. It's going to be probably 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, so stay tuned. I mean, obviously, that's in the middle of the day in New York, so well, later afternoon, really, but... Uh, that's when I'll put out another video just to see what's going on. But just scanning things now, there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of uncertainty going on. I mean, literally, Donald Trump tweeted something about going to war with Iran. Like, like obviously, there's no substance to that. But I mean, when people see that, and it's concerning. You know, no one does things like Donald Trump when it comes to how he conducts himself. I think it was like 11:34 at night, Washington time on Sunday, when he did that. So he might have even, does he drink? I don't know. He might have been drunk when he tweeted that. 
who knows? You know? <laughs> uh, unbelievable. You know, so if you're holding short positions, it's unfortunate. I mean, look, I, you know, I saw that you were a little while ago and I'm still, you know, I'm short bias where it is right now, but, you know, we'll see. It's just very hard when there's, when it's like this, when it's choppy, erratic, you know, it's nothing that appealing. I mean, I do want to, I've only traded once this month. You know, I, uh, I bought the USD yen and I got pretty lucky. This is, this is the trade. So yeah anyway guys if you don't already uh i do post a lot on instagram scotty's trading so i'm scott andrews but i'm under scotty's trading is my username and at trade talk pippin uh forward twitter so at trade talk pippin bit of tongue in cheek pippin pimpin uh a friend of mine came up with the name so let's try and take the serious and standard forex a little bit because there's so many scams and people that are way too serious and take themselves too seriously. So, yeah. And look, if you've got any questions, leave um, something in the comment section. I am working on other stuff on the back testing. I, I went over on my previous video on Sunday. So, you know, if you don't already, you know, know about back testing, there's a link in the description section. Check out Forex Tester 3. You know, you can buy it off the website or use my link. You can save some money. Um, really, you just have to. Like, I know institutional traders. I learned from Walter Peters. I learn a lot from James Kensington. Uh, you know, Google search those guys' names for Forex. Uh, there's a few things out there of them, especially Walter Peters. I learned from Walter Peters. So, you know, he's a pretty good trader. You just sort of have to be aware that you need a backtest. The very best traders backtest. Uh, you know, the weekend is really a time to refine strategies, you know, to prepare for the week ahead. Not like the whole day, but, you know, you want to have your mind focused on the markets, you know, seven days a week. Not all the time, not 24-7, but just, you know, be aware of what's going on. So this, yeah, this is not <laughs> what I wanted to see. What I wanted to see was something like this and, you know, it just was collapsed. But we could see a bounce still and then the trade's back on as, as a potential buy trade. So I'll look out for that. But right now... Uh, you know, I'm not, and I won't just sell this on the Monday. That's just how I approach things. So that's the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trading. Bye for now.